Good morning from beautiful St. Martin. So actually, it's not too beautiful right now. It's a little bit rainy, a little bit cloudy, but it's supposed to be cleared up by the time I head out into town, so it should make for some great video. So you guys have been asking for port reviews for a long time, and that's never really been my thing, but I decided to try a different kind of format and see if it works, see if you like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just walk off the ship. I'm not gonna take an excursion. I'm not gonna take a taxi. I'm gonna see what I can do in Phillipsburg, St. Martin, just walking off the ship. So we'll take a look at the cruise port area and then we'll head into town and I'll share my day with you and show you some things to do in town. So let's jump into the intro and get into the video. Welcome to St. Martin. So this is my first time on this island. St. Martin is a two country island. One side is French and the other side is Dutch. We pulled into the town of Phillipsburg, which is on the Dutch side of the island. This cruise port has two piers, one built in 2009 for smaller cruise ships. When we were there, they had a Viking cruise ship there, which I'd never seen before. So that was kind of cool. And the other pier was built in 2017 and it holds the much bigger cruise ships like Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, they had us and a Morella ship parked there the day I was there. When leaving the ship, I was only required to have my cruise card, which surprised me. Usually you have to have an ID card or passport, but they only required us to have our cruise card. And you could actually leave the cruise terminal area and go out into town. And when you returned, all you needed was your cruise card. Just know that's an option, although I'd still bring my ID card if I would you. So this cruise terminal area is probably the nicest I've been to so far. It's newer, and as you can see, it's huge. As I mentioned, it's built to accommodate those massive cruise ships. But as you can see here, there's not a lot of shade and the sun beats down on you here. The UV index was 11 or 12 on the day I was there. So make sure you pack a hat and some sunscreen. This cruise port area is called Shopping Point Village. It has many of the typical cruise port area shops. You have your Diamonds International, an Effie, and of course, the duty-free shop. By the way, the entire island is duty-free, so I'm not sure what the point of a duty-free shop is, but they have one. There were also some non-traditional cruise port shops as well, and an area with some locally owned vendors with lots of the tchotchkes, us tourists-like, but also some pretty unique items as well. I really like Liked these things. And if you don't want to leave the port area, there are a couple of watering holes to have an adult beverage and enjoy some island vibe type music. These are the only spots to get a little shade, so grab a seat early if that's your plan. But seriously, the sun is brutal. Bring a hat and sunscreen. If you want to leave the cruise area, but you don't want to walk, they have these water taxis for only $7. I thought it was pretty cool that they had a cheaper price for the crew. There are stands in the main port area to buy tickets, but if you know you want to use the water taxis and want to avoid the long lines for tickets, head straight over to the taxis. There'll be a stand near the water taxis with no line. To get there, just head down this little alley next to Kay's Fine Jewelry Shop. So here's that little ticket stand I mentioned. And over here at the end of the walkway are the water taxis. These water taxis will take you to the town of Phillipsburg. I didn't try them, but everyone I talked to said they were great. I decided to walk to Phillipsburg instead. So let me show you how to do that. So the walk to the start of the Phillipsburg beachfront area is a short one. It's only a 10 minute walk. After you walk past all the shops, you'll see a roundabout with the hope to see a soon sign. That's a good photo op area. Just take that sidewalk to the left of the sign and that will take you to the exit. You'll walk past the guard and some taxi cab drivers. Don't worry, they're super friendly and not pushy at all. After you pass the taxi cab drivers, make a left and head towards town. Keep walking down this sidewalk and after about five minutes, you'll see your first store, Johnny's Gift Shop. Johnny's also rents mopeds. I was tempted to rent one, maybe next time. A little past Johnny's, you'll see a gate with a sign on it that says, turn here, this way to the beach restaurants and shops. That will take you through an area that feels like a manufactured cruise port shopping area. Nothing was open on this day except the Harley shop, but it was pretty early when I walked by. A couple quick notes about St. Martin as we walk across the Blue Bridge. So St. Martin is known as the Friendly Island and that motto rang pretty true. Everyone was super friendly and welcoming. I really like the vibe of this place. 
Let's talk about currency and language real quick. While the island is Dutch and French, the main language is English and all transactions on the Dutch side were in US dollar. On the French side, prices are in Euro, but they still accept the dollar. So pretty easy to get around here for us Americans. After the little shopping area, you'll reach the start of the main Phillipsburg beachfront boardwalk. You'll know you're there when you reach this very Instagrammable spot. Speaking of Instagram, if you haven't checked out mine, make sure you go to 30 and wake up on Instagram. I post stuff like this all the time on there that might not fit into a YouTube video. Right next to the Instagram spot, you'll run into the beach boardwalk. It's made of brick, looks brand new, and continues for about a mile or so. The first spot you'll come to on the boardwalk is this little beach park area. It has swings, slides, and a jungle gym. If you have small kids, this would be a great place to hang out for the day. I'm not going to lie to you, Phillipsburg is a bit of a tourist trap. I guess that's to be expected since it's so close to a cruise terminal that holds mega ships, but I will say it is the nicest cruise port tourist trap area I've seen so far. Anytime you want to hit the beach, just head left, and within seconds you can have your toes in the water, ass in the sand, enjoying beautiful turquoise water and the sounds of the ocean. You just can't beat having that within walking distance of the ship. So Phillipsburg was hit pretty hard by Hurricane Irma in 2017, and there are still some remnants of the damage done. Check out this building. It's in pretty rough shape, but what a prime location for anyone willing to take on this project. As you continue down the boardwalk, you can shop till you drop. There are all kinds of shops full of local and worldwide brands. There are also tons of restaurants. This one kind of cracked me up. It's called the Blue Bitch Bar. I didn't stop there and eat, but I should have grabbed a t-shirt. There are also lots of bars with live music and their own beachfront seating areas where they'll bring you buckets of beer while you enjoy the music and views. After walking around for a bit, I decided to grab a quick bite to eat. I saw this windmill restaurant called the Dutch Blonde Bar and I figured since I'm technically in the Netherlands, I should try this place. The ambiance of the place was great, a beach bar with a Dutch flair, and it was easy to get a table with a view. I read that this is a great place to get a beer and pancakes, but the idea of mixing those two did not sound appealing to me at all, and it was lunchtime, so I decided to order the Mahi Mahi tacos. I know, I know, not very Dutch, but hey, it's my vacation, I'll eat what I want. The tacos were great, but the view was even better. After finishing my lunch, I headed over to the beach and put my toes in the water, ass in the sand for the rest of the day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out some of my other cruise content, smash the like button, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next video.